Hi guys, today I'm here to do my August movie wrap up. I watched quite a few movies in August, so let's go ahead and get right into this. The first movie I watched in August was Death of a Salesman. I watched this for the Booktubeathon when we were supposed to read a book and watch the movie adaptation. I ended up really loving the book, and the movie was almost just as good. The book is always better than the movie, but I really enjoyed this movie. I watched this on YouTube. This is about a salesman who's about to lose his job and he's having trouble coming up with money and he kind of looks back on his life with his two sons and what he did wrong. It's a very sad movie and book but I highly recommend watching this or reading the book and I gave this three stars. Next I watched a movie called Elizabeth Blue. I haven't heard anyone talk about this movie but I saw it at my library one day so I decided to pick it up. This is about a young woman who is schizophrenic and she leaves a mental hospital and she tries to put her life back together after that. Again, this was a really sad movie because it was dealing with a lot of mental issues. I didn't know a lot about schizophrenia, so this was really insightful, and I gave this three stars. Next, I watched A Quiet Place. I had really wanted to see this when I saw trailers for it, and then after I heard what it was actually about, I decided that it wouldn't be for me. But after hearing one of my friends talk about this and how much he liked it, I decided to pick it up. I was really surprised by this film. I really didn't think I would like it because of the monster in this. I wouldn't really consider this a horror movie. I don't really know what I would put it into. I didn't really find it to be that scary and there were a lot of loopholes in this. I still think all of the actors did a great job in this and I'm really glad that I checked it out and I gave this three and a half stars. Then I watched To All the Boys I Loved Before on Netflix. I had read the books in this series and I thought they were kind of cute and I was just looking for kind of like a comfort watch so I decided to pick this one up. It's your typical chick flick teen movie but I thought it was pretty enjoyable. It's not like the best film ever but if you're looking for something like that then go ahead and pick this one up. I give this three and a half stars. Then I picked up Game Night. Again, I had really wanted to see this after seeing the trailer for it, and I finally picked it up. I thought there were so many funny parts in this, but it reminded me of a couple different movies that I had already seen, so the story wasn't really anything new for me. This is about a group of friends who get together and play games every weekend, and this one time things go wrong and they actually get themselves into a mess. I'm really glad that I did get to get around to it, and I gave this three and a half stars. Then I watched The Child in Time. This is about a couple whose daughter goes missing and the man can't really cope with it. He still kind of looks for her even though the mother has kind of given up and moved away and it's just him dealing with losing this child. This has Benedict Cumberbatch and Kelly McDonald in it. I love both of them as actors and they did a fantastic job in this movie and I gave this one three stars. Next I watched It Happened in LA. I had seen a trailer for this a while ago and thought it looked pretty cute. It has Dree Hemingway in it so I thought I'd give it a chance. That is the granddaughter of Ernest Hemingway but I was really disappointed in this film. It's just this group of people who live in LA. I don't really know exactly what LA would be like, but this is the kind of movie that you would assume it's like. It's just a bunch of rich, snobby white people, and I just really didn't enjoy this film. I did manage to sit through the entire thing, but I gave this two stars. And the last movie I watched in August was Voice from the Stone. I thought this looked pretty creepy when I had seen the trailers, and I was excited to pick it up because Amelia Clark is in it, and I really like Amelia Clark. It's about this woman in the 50s who is a nurse, and she goes to a house in Tuscany because there is a young boy there that has stopped talking after his mother has died, so she's gonna go and try and get him to start talking again. I kind of thought this would be a really good scary movie, but it just really wasn't that scary for me. There also was a lot of unnecessary scenes, like an entire scene of Amelia Clark totally nude. I didn't think that needed to be in the movie at all, and the ending was a little confusing for me. I'm not really quite sure how it ended. But if you've seen it, let me know what your take is on the ending. But I gave this two and a half stars. Okay, so those are the movies that I watched in August. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you thought of them. Also, let me know what your favorite movie was that you watched in August. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.